offshore drilling legislation just passed another hurdle. It's now headed to the Senate. Down on your side's Chris Horn has reaction on being one step closer to drilling off Virginia's coast. Chris? Lena, it's called the Strategic Production Response Act, and it would enable oil exploration and drilling leases off our coast to come into play. It's a highly partisan issue, and opponents say it will harm several key components of life here in Hampton Roads. If passed into law, it would open up leases for oil and gas production on federal lands and waters. That includes an area that extends out roughly 300 miles from the entire Atlantic coast. Republican Jen Kiggins of Virginia Beach voted in favor. She vice chairs a House subcommittee on water, wildlife, and fisheries. The bill passed in the House last month, 221 to 205. Every Republican voted in favor, and nearly every Democrat voted against it, including Congressman Bobby Scott. Scott says the potential risk with offshore drilling far outweighs the potential reward. That risk is real and that um, it's, it's not worth the modest, if any, economic value. There was a lot of support early on, uh, but gradually, I think if people, as people have thought about it, it's just not a good idea. Democrat Abigail Spanberg of the Richmond area also opposed the bill. She doubts it will come to a vote in the Senate anytime soon. Spanberger says it would put the environment, the fishing industry, and tourism in jeopardy, but that's not all. An, an absolute risk towards uh, to the United States Navy, and, and certainly they've been vocal. Uh, NASA and Wallops Island have been clear in the risk that comes with offshore drilling. Senator Tim Kaine says he'll vote no and gave us this statement. I've heard again and again from Virginians connected with the military, tourism, and other industries across our coastal communities that offshore drilling in Virginia poses too great a risk to our economy and well-being. And in its statement to me, the American Petroleum Institute said maintaining a strong offshore leasing program is critical for U.S. energy security and conservation, and the group supports responsible development of federal lands and waters. We'll have much more on Wavy.com, including a late statement this afternoon from Senator Jen Kiggins, who voted in favor. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.